Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. In motion left, Shepard. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to have this way down in Cincinnati territory. The rookie from Tennessee orchestrating things well. It's a first down here. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Back to throw. Now he's got it. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and goal from the one. He'll look to throw. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucks march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. But three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Gets the check down throw to White. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. This is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. In motion, the tight end. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Back to throw now on first down. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now, and it's...
fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination, What's up, Ricky? Welcome to the league. And I truly believe that you're going to be a star. But in order to make it and last in this league, it's going to take hard work. And the grind don't stop, baby. Because right now, the cheetah grinding, baby.
And Tampa Bay trots out there now. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Rashad White, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. He'll look to throw. And a dump off to White. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. He was unable to shake free there. And they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So out come the Bucks now. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Now a second and six. They're going to look to throw. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Quick throw fighting Mike Evans. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The rookie from Tennessee orchestrating things well. It's a first down here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. 
Now back to throw. Out to the right here to Shepard. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. They'll look to throw here. They'll roll him out right. A quick throw, but incomplete. As we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason, they've left their starting quarterback out there for this second quarter. But I would imagine we will not see him after halftime. Yeah, this is the time of year you've got to get your backup some reps and make sure. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. In motion comes the tight end left. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Now a play fake here on first down. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Evans. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's thrown for a touchdown pass, and he's run for one so far. When you're able to watch a guy perform at a high level and do it in multiple ways, yeah, arm, legs, he really helps his team in a big way. You've got to think that they feel great about where they are in this ball game, and they feel even better about him leading their team. Well, he's hoping to put them into a better spot after this drive. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll throw now on the final play. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You know, during these preseason games, we're in week two right now. It's always funny looking at our spot charts up here in the booth because with all the guys that might play in this one, it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, we pretty much supersize them, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Because, you, you know, remember, they're carrying 90 now. And with the new rules, they'll carry 90 all the way through the preseason before they make the final cut. Oh, yeah, a lot of guys to learn for these games. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Airing this one out for Evans. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one, and then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. It was a solid first... That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past.
It's the Dolphins and the Bucks, and it comes your way next. Buccaneers are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Play action on first down. And the connection not quite there yet on his opening throw of the game. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. They'll throw on second and ten. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Third down from the gun. That pass completes to Irving. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Still sticking with the passing game. That's incomplete left side. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Second and ten now. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Let's go. Third and long for him here. He's on the move. And this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his... The Buccaneers and their quarterback ready to take over once again. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. First and ten, looking to throw. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. And now it's second down. It's now second and ten at the 30 yard line. Pass play coming here. Finds his man. It's gone in. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Back to pass on first and ten. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Brings up second and ten at the 40-yard line. They are throwing it again. Chased out to his right. That one doesn't find its man. Incomplete. Lucky that didn't end as an interception. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Throwing now from the gun. Completes this one to Otten. And a nice game here, but it stops short of the first. The Buccaneers headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Shut up. They go play action on first. <laughs> he had a throw, but a quick defensive play to Charles Lewis, incomplete. See the pass. 
your hit and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. He'll throw again on second down. This finds Evans complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Third down, one yard to go. Throwing now off play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they bring him down around the 34. It's a gain of four. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. On target to Godwin. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Dropping back to throw. Forced out to his right. He's going to keep it this time. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. He's got it! And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Let's go! Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They'll try and punch it in. He's going to haul it in for the Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers' time can take the lead here in the second. The home teams ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. They send the tight end in motion. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Irving hauls it in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. From the 20 on second down. Headed out right. He tucks it and takes off. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Play didn't break how they wanted it, and he throws this away. Well, discretion, the better part of Fowler in a lot of cases. Rather than force something when no one open and risk a turnover, he wisely just threw it away. Back to the air here on second and ten. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. They're going to throw it on third and long. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Pass play on first and ten. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I may love 
like watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. So good work to help reset those chains. Buys time, rolling right. Watching deep down the right sideline. This is caught inside the 15. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Working inside the red zone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here we go, set. He'll throw it yet again. Rolling left, buying some time. This throw is caught. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. Throw it again. And they will score. It's a Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers grow their lead just before halftime. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play. They just exposed him. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And they really lean on that passing game in the first half, Brock. Let's see if that emphasis continues to start the third. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Second and six coming up here. From the 34. This one finds Irving. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted! Picked up, Kendall Fuller! And the Dolphins will take over as he records his first interception of our season. They worked hard to have the halftime lead, Brock, but now that defense working hard to take it away. Not wasting any time, are they? You know, they love to say about baseball, Kate, baseball's a game of adjustments. So is the NFL, and especially in the second half. You have all that data from the first half. You want to take it all in, and defensively, you want to adjust exactly what they did to take the ball away there to begin the second. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here we go. Here we go. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. He's on the move. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the 41. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. He won't be able to make the catch, it's incomplete. Not on the same page with his tight end. And now they face second down. Looking for a throw here. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Pass play now. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact.
They're going to throw here to begin the drive. Escapes the pocket. He's running with it. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. Well, QB made something happen and got some yardage when the play didn't develop right and even got himself out of bounds to avoid a hit. The only negative at all is he couldn't quite get the first down. Got Evans, it's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers just need two snaps to steal the lead. Mike Evans with the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Here we go. He's throwing for it. And that pass is cut inside the end zone. The two-point try comes through, and there leads a field goal now. Well, that right there, a very important two-point conversion. Brock, their lead now up to three. A field goal would only tie this one. Yeah, the math was pretty easy on that one, right? You, you know what it does. It puts you up three and enforces a field goal on the other side. But I'll tell you what else I like there, Kate. It's psychology. It's a win for the visiting Dolphins. And this victory is going to give them a nice shot of confidence as they work through the next couple of weeks and prepare for things to count coming up in week one.